This Metasploit Minute is brought to you by Hack5 and viewers like you. Support us directly at hakshop.com. Welcome to Metasploit Minute, the breakdown on breaking in. I'm your host Rob Fuller, but you can call me Mubix. Today we're discovering and enumerating targets. Today we're going to start a, a short segment, a, a recurring segment on attacking this network that we have set up. And unlike most YouTube videos or other uh, videos online, we're not going at a, a target that's on the same network at us, as us. Well, sort of we are, but um, all of the vulnerable hosts, all of the good stuff is actually behind a firewall. It ha there's a firewall with a DMZ and, and other machines inside. So we're going to start off just with enumerating, trying to find vulnerabilities, um, find hosts on the network. And how we do this is we start with MSF console um, and we can change our workspace. Now, a workspace is not some a concept that we've talked about before. A workspace generally div divvies up a database. So um, by default, you are in the default workspace. But what we want to do is create a whole new workspace by add uh, Metasploit Minute. And what this does is allows more than one user or more than one engagement to be separated in the database. So if you have hosts that you scan and, and exploit and do other things uh, on one engagement and you want to keep that information separate, you don't have to delete the database, re redo it. You can just simply um, switch between workspaces. What workspace are we currently in? Workspace. We're in the Metasploit Minute workspace. Great. So let's start doing enumeration. DB nmap is essentially running nmap commands and we'll do a dash H is essentially running um, nmap commands from your host that has Metasploit. There's no difference. The, this doesn't have any special abilities uh, like going through other hosts or anything. This will always run nmap directly from your host. So db nmap, let's target our 10, 73, 31, 151 hosts and let that go for a second. Um, and again, this is running nmap from my host and going to that source. This is no different than actually just running nmap from my, um, my actual host and, and doing whatever commands I want. So if we didn't do that, we can run 10, 73, 31, uh, 151, OX, that allows the nmap to export the XML format. I like to do OA. Um, OA allows you to have all of the formats. So XML, greppable, nmap um, formats all at once and msf minute and let's just do let's just add that so what's going on here is now instead of having metasploit run its special commands and its special arguments to d get this done um, we can actually save all the stuff for ourselves you can see that there's um, metasploit nmap xml gmap that way i can save this all for later it is in the database already so you can save it for later you can export it and stuff like that but i like to have a, another copy of things that i run so next we're going to look at what what we have in the database now so we have hosts services and you can see that we have um, all of that data that nmap got back for us already there so the first thing we're going to do is we see that it has a web address so we we open it up and i've already got it open um, there's Metasploitable 2. Now, quick step aside, Metasploitable 2 is this great virtual machine that you get to um, attack all you want. You download it, it's like, I think about a may, or uh, I'm sorry, a gig. Um, you download it, it has all of these vulnerabilities inside of a, of a Ubuntu system that you get to try and exploit. So we have a Metasploitable box in a DMZ behind a, behind a firewall that only allows 80 and 1099. So instead of going into all of the ways that you can exploit a, um, a website, um, because that, that has a whole new genre of, of security, it's the web application security. Um, let's go with the 1099, let's stay services. Now 1099 is Java RMI. Java RMI is essentially a, a service that will take a class, a Java class, and load it, <laughs> which is awesome. So let's, let's do a little bit more enumeration. Let's look at the, so instead of dbnmap, what you can do is actually, there's a built-in 
port scanner for uh, Metasploit. Auxiliary um, scanner port scan TCP. So this by default will scan all the way 10,000 different ports. So we set our R host to 10, 73, 31, 151. And we can run that. Let's just, let's just set the ports down a little bit to um, 1 through um, 10, 1100. That way we get the 1099 in there. Set concurrency up to 50, so it scans 50 ports at once. And let that run. Cool, it found 80 already. Should find 1099 as well because of the DBN map. And the awesome thing about this particular module is unlike DBN map, this port scanner will go through any pivots that you have set up. So if you are on box number three on, on your pivoting routing, you know, Kung Fu, this port scan will go through all of those based on the targeting. So there's the 1099, it's all done. And you can see that in the hosts, we still have that. Services, we still have that. So next, we're going to do some enumeration on the HTTP site. Auxiliary, scanner, HTTP, let's just do HTTP version. Let's get what server version it is. Set our R hosts again. And let's just do control R, set R hosts. There we go. So it has an Apache 228, and that's all great. We're going to next look for anything that's Java RMI. Search, let's do Java. And that's going to actually bring us back a lot. Yep. So let's do RMI. So there's the Java RMI. And next time on Metasploit Minute, we're actually going to show you how to use this as an exploit. See if it actually works. Um, if it'll load it, some, sometimes there's, option, um, there's a security option to close out the, the class loading from unknown hosts. So let me know what you think. Hit me up at msf at hack5.org and stay tuned to metasploitminute.com for more shows like these. And thank you again for supporting the show. If you want to support us even more, go to hackshop.com, h-a-k-shop.com, enter the code MUBIX for some free Metasploit stickers, Metasploit Minute stickers. Until next time, I'm Mubix, and I'll be hacking till the cows come home. I almost didn't stop. <laughs>